Are you ready? I mean, are you ready? I don't know about you guys, I can hardly wait. The anticipation is building, the excitement overflowing. I've actually been having trouble sleeping at night. For one, I just can't contain my excitement. But two, I have been missing my favorite yentas. Who wants to wake up every morning without the radiance of the sun hosting? I've been having withdrawals. I've been without my daily dose of the whoopee flatulence for the past two weeks. My hands have been shaking. I feel like a flatulaholic going through the tremors. And how could I forget Big Red? Oh, Big Red. Who could forget that slogan, kiss a little longer? I think all men feel that way about Joy Behar. We all wish we could kiss those injected lips just a little bit longer. Over the past two weeks, there has been a serious void in daytime television. I've been wondering why the mainstream news cycle has been a little bit slower lately. This is the reason why. Over the past couple of weeks, our yentas, they have been off TV. Now they're calling it a hiatus, a sabbatical. Now us men, we don't understand all the hard work and the plastic that goes into making an 80-year-old Joy Behar appear to be 120. Us men, it's difficult for us to understand all the hard work that goes into filling the gas tank of Whoopi Goldberg. Alyssa the Farrah Griffin, she has been working hard all summer perfecting her acting skills, making herself appear to be a conservative, making herself appear to be normal. I know all of you guys have missed The View just as much as I have. I've seen all your comments. I've received your emails. KC, do you have any inside information you can share with me? Please, please tell me The View is coming back. Well, there have been rumors over the summer that executives at ABC are considering canceling The View. They're getting frustrated. But ladies and gentlemen, I've got some exciting news for you. Even though this might be the final season, we are guaranteed to receive another 9, 10 months of exciting Yenta television. Yesterday morning, ABC announced the official return date of The View. Now grab your woke calendar. Make sure to remember this date. Our beauties will return to television on Tuesday, September 5th. Now, our ladies, they realize their audience consists mostly of brain-dead shitfucks, so they made sure to point out that the season premieres the day after Labor Day. Labor Day is the day set aside to honor people with actual jobs, gives them a long weekend, extra day off work. Now, of course, the audience for The View, Labor Day is just another Monday. This audience is allergic to work, just like the collectors of Woke Welfare hosting this show. ABC, though, they wanted to honor this exciting season premiere, so they put together an amazing promo video designed to harden the cucumbers of the lonely women in this audience. The tuck-friendly bathing suits were operating at full capacity once this video was released. Some had to be returned to Target because the fabric was being stretched. Size was just a bit too small. Some of the men pretending to be women in this audience, they're working with a full package. Now, I know all of you guys are just as excited as I am to see this promo, so let's go ahead and get to it. Here we go. For the first time in a couple of weeks, we get to see the fresh faces of the beauties on The View. Executives at ABC, they asked the ladies one simple question for this promo. Describe the upcoming season using just three words. Obviously, this plan ended in huge embarrassing failure. For starters, these women can't properly define the number three just like they can't define a woman. There was no mathematician on set to properly identify the number three, so a couple of the yentas, they exceeded the original request. It seemed that one of them was confused with the request because I don't think English might be her primary language. But either way, grab your cucumber and here we go. The beautiful women of The View, hyping season 27. Watch for yourself. Just three words? You can't handle my three words. Electric, fearless, and fun. Titillating, relevant, and must watch. Hey, that's four words. Then just must. <laughs> Dramatic, eventful, lit. Bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Informed, authentic, fuego. Yes. yes. Wild, powerful, dangerous. Wow. Wait, where's Whoopi? I'm right here. We'll see everybody next season. Man, I cannot wait. Believe it or not, 
This short promotional video caused a lot of controversy. Thousands of lonely women were distraught. Oh my God, where is the whoopee cushion? Did she get fired? Is she not coming back? That would be awful. This caused some hysteria on woke Twitter or woke X. Lonely men, they were legitimately concerned that the woke welfare of Whoopi Goldberg had expired. Now, of course, normal people, we were absolutely thrilled. To hell with just letting go of Whoopi Goldberg, get rid of all these women. Now, obviously, Whoopi Goldberg is returning next season. The dumbasses, they just failed to watch the entire clip. Just like the rest of us, they couldn't make it through a full 90 seconds of this garbage. Now, even though The View is returning next season, it is possible that this season could be the last. Now, I hope, I hope that is the case. I was actually hoping the writer's strike would delay the season premiere, but I should have known better, though. If you've ever watched this show, it is abundantly clear they don't have professional writers. Just five or six women releasing toxic mouth farts. In my life, I've been around a lot of women who can burp professionally. They're not making millions of dollars like the women on The View. According to both Radar Online and the National Enquirer, executives at ABC, they are growing frustrated with The View. Like I told you guys last week, on the surface, this doesn't make any sense. If you Google ratings for The View, you're going to come across countless articles stating the same thing. The View is the number one daytime talk show in America. This is another classic case of the mainstream media giving us a partial truth. Yes, The View, number one daytime talk show in America. But have you ever wondered? Why the mainstream media doesn't claim that The View is the number one daytime show in America? The media doesn't claim that because they're not, and it's not even close. The View doesn't rank in the top five. They are consistently beaten by soap operas. They're consistently beaten by something called Let's Make a Deal 2. I didn't know there was a Let's Make a Deal 1. I also didn't know that Hollywood was producing sequels for game shows. But let's just think about this for a second. The View, number one daytime talk show on TV. Can you name another daytime talk show? This is not the 90s when daytime talk shows were the biggest thing on television. There is no more Jerry Springer. There's no competition like Ricky Lake or Montel Williams. There's barely any competition with daytime talk shows, period. Don't take my word for it. Go Google it for yourself. If you Google daytime talk shows, you'll find stiff competition like Kelly Clarkson. You'll find Drew Barrymore, who only makes headlines in the media when she is worshiping at the feet of Bob Dylan Mulvaney. Some dude named Karamo, who I think was on The Real World like 20 years ago. The talk on CBS, which features a panel of hosts that no one's ever heard of. The View's not the number one daytime talk show because The View is so popular. They are number one because they don't have any competition. It's like saying the WWE is the number one wrestling company in America. Yeah, that's because the last couple of decades, WWE was the only wrestling company in America. Well, KC, that's just not true. What about AEW? Yeah, no one gives a shit about AEW. That's like someone asking about MMA and they bring up Bellator. No one cares about Bellator. The only organization that matters is the UFC. The truth is, The View represents everything wrong with political discourse in this country. When Barbara Walters was in charge, this show actually meant something. They were relevant. Barbara Walters, she would invite anyone on the show and they would have real conversations, conversations with substance. Today, the view is designed to be divisive. They intentionally stir up controversy. They intentionally express their fake outrage in a desperate attempt to draw ratings. Because make no mistake about it, ratings for this dump have been declining for the past two years. Since December 2020, the views lost nearly a million viewers. And that is why executives at ABC are frustrated. That is why executives at ABC are leaking stories to the Enquirer or Radar Online, claiming that this show has become more trouble than it's worth. Let me show you a brief example of what I'm talking about. Last fall, last fall, 
the Yentas invited Ted Cruz on The View. Now, he was doing the media rounds promoting his book, so I'm not sure why his publicist booked him on The View since the vast majority of this audience can't read. But as expected, the conversation, it shifted to Donald Trump. Orange man bad. The Yentas utilized the woke Bible to find a way to bring up January 6th. The problem was... Ted Cruz refused to bite into the shit sandwich. Just watch what happens when the beauties are hit with the truth. Roll the film. Anytime a Republican is in front of a TV camera, try to say the election was fair and square and legitimate. You know who y'all don't do that to? You don't do it to Hillary Clinton, who stood up and said Trump but stole the election. You don't do it to Stacey Abrams, who said, who said that the election was stolen. They sat here yes, and said it was illegitimate, right. and, and, it and was. you guys were fine with it. Okay, so, so, so it's did, illegitimate did when Republicans she, did, win, the, but not when Democrats win. No, oh, you know, here's the thing. We may not like when Republicans win, but we don't go and we don't storm. And I miss an entire year of Antifa riots where cities across this country were Antifa burning and, and police cars well, were being yeah, fire burned. You Your position is the left doesn't engage in violence, really? You just accused us of doing something we didn't do. You said Hillary Clinton didn't say whatever she didn't say. I'm saying to you, listen. And she said we it's sitting said, here, and you we were fine come, with her saying it was illegitimate come, yes, for, for Republicans her it was. to win. She called so Donald Trump the next opinion. morning, and yeah. she conceded the election, Ted. Hillary Trump Clinton says sworn in. Trump is an illegitimate Who president. Hillary Clinton right. says the it's, election is stolen from you. Hillary Clinton in 2002, George W. Bush was oh, selected, not elected. Paperwork. Joe oh, Biden, she, Al Gore was, was elected president. So Joe Biden... Yeah. You just said we don't scream at each other, right? Or, do, or, or is it just you that gets to scream? Okay, no, no, I agree. Okay, I... then lower your voice because okay. we are very close okay. to each other. But, but, but. That right there, that is the problem with this show. There is no substance to their arguments. It's nothing but propaganda and conjecture. When they're tired of hearing the truth, they get some unknown birthing person to lecture Ted Cruz on his toxic masculinity. This evil man is yelling at me! By the way... According to Rachel Levine, we are no longer allowed to call women birthing persons. Yeah. Yeah. Can't refer to them as women anymore. Can't refer to them as birthing persons. According to Rachel Levine, organisms with the ability to get pregnant, they must now be called egg producers. <laughs> Can Rachel Levine even produce eggs? Anyway... The View. This show needs to be canceled. Get this garbage off my TV. This show is divisive by design. It appeals to the lowest common denominator. These women pretend to be stupid anytime they're hit with the truth. Prime example, the whoopee cushion pretending like she's never heard of Antifa riots. I guess according to Whoopi Goldberg, all those riots in the summer of 2020, those were peaceful demonstrations of woke love. But give me your thoughts. The View announces they are returning for another season of embarrassing failure. Could this be the final season of the show? Do you believe the reports from the National Enquirer and Radar Online? Last week, Last week, I had someone contact me claiming that these reports were absolute bullshit, claiming there was no way ABC would cancel The View. And to be fair, they could be right. Nowadays, it is hard to find programming that routinely draws over 2 million viewers. But I will say this. I will say this about Radar Online. Do not be so quick to write them off. Radar Online was one of the first to report months before it happened that Don Lemon was on thin ice with CNN. Now, that doesn't mean that Radar Online's right here about The View. I'm just saying they were right about Don Lemon. But anyway, let me know what you think. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.